Hey guys, before starting with our new tutorial, I want to thank you all because last week Responsive Muse YouTube channel reached to a thousand subscribers. So thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your likes and your comments. So moving on to the new tutorial, I'm going to create a new another menu. So it's same as the other menus you're going to use uh, from the widget library. This is with the tooltip. So what you're going to do is we're going to create this. Okay, so we're going to click here and you'll see how it will appear with a fade effect. So this is very, very easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to this new side that I prepared here with the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the widget library and we're going to drag out the tooltip widget. Okay, so this tooltip widget, if you can see, so you might not see it with the photo, but you've got actually here three circles, which are which are the triggers. So if you click on them, you can see how the target appears. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave just one trigger. So we're going to delete this trigger. And just keep one. So what you're going to do is I'm going to delete the picture. I might leave the text because I'm going to use that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the this a little bit bigger because this triggers where we're going to place the menu so now what you can do is you can just place it wherever you want so this is going to be somewhere here I'm going to zoom in okay so first thing is I'm going to get rid of the fill and make it transparent make sure the trigger is in all the states, it's transparent too. Okay, so we're going to leave it here and I'm going to pin it to the right side. So now I'm going to get a text box and I'm going to open my font awesome cheat sheet and I'm going to use you find this icon of here it's actually an icon that's to that means aligned right but I'm gonna use it as as an icon menu and um, let's put, use this color and let's show let's tell Muse that this is font awesome and bring the size up. To here. And I'm going to align it there to the right. Okay, so we got this. It will only have one state, so we just can leave it can leave it here. Now we're going to edit this. So first thing is the container. This is a rectangle over here, so we're going to get rid of the stroke and we're going to get rid of the fill. So let's make it transparent too. And you can actually resize this. And here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the text except for this part here. So we can move the container. Which is the target and we can resize it. Okay. And you can actually like make it as big as you need, depends on how many pages you have. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to click on home. So I'm going to give some color. You can use the font that you want. Let's change the font. and use okay this font over here 
So to create these bars over here, what you're going to do is click over the text frame and open stroke, stroke options. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock this over here and then you can choose if you want a stroke, if you want it in the top stroke or the bottom stroke, right or left. So I'm going to choose the right stroke. Right now it's black, but I'm going to use the same color I'm using for the, the, the text. So you see this here? What looks good is to center it. So now you can actually just going to copy and use it and type here the name of the different pages you want. So and click over the widget and remember open the options and here the important part is to say show target on click not on rollover and hide target on click too. Here you can choose the, tra the transition right now it's fading you can actually ch uh, choose the, the, the speed so I'm gonna preview this see how it looks so I click over the icon and I get my menu here. Remember that you can actually move around and you can if you want to bring it closer you can do that too. And if you want to hyperlink what you have to do is just click imagine here home and let's say I'm gonna add the font awesome cheat sheet here so you guys see how I do it. So this is selected, let's go to hyperlinks and paste this link over here. So let's preview this and see if it's working. So click over this and yes it's taking me to font awesome. And if I click back it will disappear. Alright guys, so hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.